Salty loves to be by the sea. But when he first came to the island of Sodor, Sir Topham Hatt sent him to work at Farquhar Quarry. All he could see around him was stone. Stone, stone, stone. Salty didn't like it much. Hello, Salty. Oh, I'm a dockside diesel, Mavis. I need to be by the sea. When Sir Topham Hatt told Salty he had a new job for him at Brendam Docks, it made him very happy indeed. Don't take me away from the sea, boys! Don't take me away from the sea! <laughs> One day, Salty sounded a little more spluttery than usual. What's with all the noises, Salty? Are you all right? Huh? Uh, all ship-shape and seaworthy, Cranky. Uh, uh, must be a barnacle trapped in the exhaust. <laughs> Sounds like you need to go to the diesel works, Salty. Oh, no thank you, Thomas. Uh, there's nothing wrong with me that a bit of fresh sea air won't sort out. <laughs> Thomas is right. You should go to the diesel works. They'll tell you what's wrong with you and risk being cast away in that quarry again? No chance. No matter what anyone else said, Salty did not want to go to the diesel works. A few days later, a little engine with three domes appeared down at the docks. Ahoy there, matey. Hello, my name's Porter. Oh, pleased to meet you, Porter. They call me Salty, the Dockside Diesel. Ha <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is your engine okay? Uh, ship shape and seaworthy. How about yours? What's with all the domes? You got more humps than a camel. <laughs> oh, the middle one's my steam dome, and the other two are my sandboxes. Why you got your sandboxes on top of your boiler? The heat keeps the sand dry, so it's always ready to pour if the tracks get slippery. I'll show you. Ah, is that so? And what brings an engine like you down to the docks? Porter is here to help out, Salty, while you go to the diesel works. Oh, Captain, it's just a little splutter, sir. I know, Salty. But you won't be really useful if you break down. Just get your engine repaired, and you'll be back here at the docks in no time. But Salty wasn't so sure. He was afraid Porter might do his job better than he did. And he wouldn't be needed at the docks anymore. <laughs> Den and Dart were at the diesel works when Salty arrived. Uh, ahoy there, me parties. Oh, make it quick now. Uh, I need to get back to the docks on the double. You can't rush maintenance, Salty. What he means is, maintenance work has to be done properly. Oh, you don't understand, me hearties. There's a new engine at the docks, and if I don't get back quick, Sharp, he'll have my job, and the captain will send me back to work in the quarry. <gasps> no! That would be terrible. You're a dockside diesel. I know. I know. Oh. Back at the docks, Porter was proving himself to be a very hard-working engine. He was learning fast. Which shed is for timber again? Where do you want the oil cars? How many flatbeds do you need? Cranky didn't like answering questions all the time. But he could tell that Porter was going to be really useful to have at the docks. Ah, now you're fixed, Salty. What he means is, you sound good as new. Hoist anchor, boys. It's time to set sail. <laughs> Do 
Don't take me away from the sea. Ah! Salty was in such a hurry that he hadn't noticed the oil delivery had arrived. Hold your pistons there, Salty. We'd better have you back here for a wash. Never mind about washing. As long as me engine's working, I'm heading back to the docks. Salty was dripping with oil as he hurried along. Some of the oil even dripped under his wheels and made them slippery. Luckily, like Porter, Salty had sandboxes too. He dropped a lot of sand under his wheels to stop himself from slipping. At the top of Gordon's Hill, Salty could see the sea in the distance. Don't take me away from the sea, boys. Don't take me away from the sea. <laughs> he raced happily down the hill and all the way back to the docks. Ahoy there, mateys! It's your old pal, Salty, back where I belong. Then there was trouble. <laughs> Salty couldn't stop. The oil was making his wheels slide on the tracks, and his sandbox was empty. <laughs> Salty smashed into a new shipment of party decorations. Porter saw what had happened, and he knew just what to do. Way anchor, laddie! Yay! <laughs> you look festive. Oh, thank you for helping me stop, matey. Oh, but I've been a very silly engine, and I know what Sir Topham Hatt is going to say. Salty, you have caused confusion and delay. And I want you to go to... Yes, Captain. I know, sir. I must go back to work at the quarry again. Far away from the sea. No, Salty. I'm not sending you away. You have been very silly today. But you're still a really useful engine. Are you sending Porter away then, Captain, sir? <laughs> I'm not sending anyone away, Salty. You and Porter are meant to work together. I just want you to go for a wash. Oh! <laughs> yes, Captain. Right away, Captain. <laughs> so while Salty got cleaned up again, Porter used his sandboxes to put down sand on the oily rails so they wouldn't be slippery. Salty liked Porter, and he enjoyed working with him. But most of all, Salty was just happy to be able to stay in his favourite place, at the docks. Don't take me away from the sea, boys! <laughs> Don't take me away from the sea! <laughs>